Okay, everybody. Well, that's a bit of an odd angle, isn't it? Uh, we're back in the game with some more Shogun 2. And now this is carrying on from the last episode and the last battle, in fact, where we lost our general. Alright, let me see. That's 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 18 units. Yes, we lost a general. We had a big battle over there. We killed a faction leader and heir. Um, but they've sallied out. And... We've got a good chance of an order resolve, but I'm going to fight it. Let's start this with a battle. Let's start the episode with a battle. Because why not? Yeah. Look, it's raining now. The last one was in a Snowstorm, wasn't it? I think. Right, we've only got two small units of cav. I'll put those up there. Everybody else. Oh, we actually have defenses as well. What we can do is put those in. Well, it didn't look like they actually deployed, did it? Not probably. Yeah, for some reason, they don't appear to be actually deploying like they used to. I don't see them. In previous battles you'd actually see the fences go up. What's the reason that's not happening here? Yeah, I... Well, something highlighted. Yeah. That started happening a few episodes back, uh, where they weren't showing up. So I don't know what's going on there. But uh, we'll accept that. With all the updates this game has had recently, who knows what's going on. So uh, we'll start the battle, pull back a little if we have time. And then put in uh, stakes. Yep, I can't see any defences that deployed. Put in the stakes. And then pull back a little more. I think we'll have time. We got something like seven or eight mounted units Get those stakes down yeah there you go get back into your formations Hopefully we've got stakes everywhere. Sometimes they bug out as well. Yeah, Shogun 2 has had a lot of updates recently. Also, many of the other games. Empire and Napoleon. Still looks like an awesome game, doesn't it? Look at that. Somebody's been out there cutting the trees down. Hopefully replanting some of them. Otherwise, you have uh, landslides and soil erosion. Tell me they don't look beautiful. Especially with the water uh, glinting off the armour. Right, they're about to come in range. Is that the bowmen? No, katanas. They're about to come into range. You're just sitting back there. Because you are bow samurai. Mounted bow samurai. I don't know what your range is, but you've got your swords out. Yeah, just standing outside of range. Kill those bow samurai. Now, in Medieval 2, I hate Pavese crossbowmen. I hate them with a passion. And in Shogun 2, I hate bowmen. Bow Samurai, Bow Levy. 
I hate them with a passion too. They've killed so many of my troops. Just so many. The enemy artillery, not so much. Enemy cavalry, not so much, because we can always put down stakes. Except for the conscripts, I don't think they can put down stakes. Everyone else can. But they're the ones who cause the most damage. Right, looks like the cavalry is going to try flanking over here. Right, you should be right on top of the stakes. Okay, my two little cavalry units. Come on up over here. That one turned at the last minute, took some damage. But those are very small. Kill them off. Then we might be able to get out and do some damage to their bowmen. Sir, your general is under attack. Go after them. Once their units do get into melee with mine, and they normally cause a lot of damage, but I think we're going to see these ones off. 110, 109. My cavalry isn't particularly strong even against bow samurai. Can we pull through? Pull through. You too. Alright, that one's holding. That's broken, but it might rally. Yeah, it's rallying. Now it's shattered. It will not rally now. Alright. There's another one right on the flank. Who's that? Those are steady. There's some cavalry in there amongst them. Alright, you're wavering. Oh yeah. Run them down. They've got a lot of work to do, because there's only a few of them left. But they're still well within the borders, so we might be able to run them all down. Yeah, these units are bigger. Come after them. He looks like he's still going to break though. Fifty-three there. How many is in that unit? Only one, and twenty-one up there. Let's 
Beat it all up. Get them, and then got 26 there to come after. Alright. And he's finished off his unit. Probably got somewhere around about 90, 95%. I wish we had a better um, balance of power bar in uh, Shogun 2, but we didn't get it. <clears throat> oh yeah, he actually broke, didn't he? Well, he definitely deserves to be a man of the hour, but they've got another army that might come out. That's it, he's just sitting in midair right there on the mountain slope. I'm gonna beat those northerners down. Oh. He got assassinated. Was it was it an assassin? I think it might have been an assassin. Alright, you're just chilling out there, aren't you? Alright. That needs to be fixed up. Ooh, it's expensive. Gonna take a lot of our money. Yeah, can't recruit anyone. Who got assassinated? Yeah, it was an assassin. Our assassin was assassinated. Oh, money's getting tight. Money's getting tight. Well, you haven't ranked up. Uh, I wonder, can we get rid of one of those units? Or two of them? How much we're going to save? 170. It's not much, is it? We're only going to save 170. They're still happy. Um, they haven't done any damage to that port. Ah, oh, I actually thought he ended up over there. Because they've got a whole stack in there, including two courtesans. Or at least two of them. They did an excellent job, despite uh, losing that first battle. And my faction leader is going to come out soon. <coughs> Right, oh, we can get some more of you now. Uh, a couple of them. And now we're out of money. Blast it. Calm down. Speak your insolence, then I will reply. All right, but they seem to be coming around. Hmm, really want to knock them out. Because their province covers that whole section, which means there's probably only one road there and one road coming through the settlement. Yeah, that's the railroad, isn't it? And there's a roadway up there, but we could block that off. <coughs> and have a nice little border against them. But we're short on money now. 2000. Uh, 
There's a Yodo faction, but I don't know if there's a Yoda faction. Province bombarded. Any damage? A Chigo. Doesn't look like it. Uh, they look like they're getting ready to attack. Might have to sally out. Because there's more of them coming. Right. If I take him out, does it hurt my economy? No, it don't. No, it doesn't, I should say. Okay, I'm going to put him there, because I think he'll be in striking range, and it'll give me a chance to get a few more men. 12, 24... 29, 35, 40. An extra 40 men if we sit there for a turn. You never know. Could turn the tide of battle. Right, 12, 75. They're the same cost, aren't they? But they get 80 men, the Oldenburgers. Oldenburgers. I have 1275. It's the cheapest infantry I can get. 765. The money is tight. I mean, do you take 200 of those or 400 for slightly more than the cost of 80 cav? I think we take them, but they do take two turns. Right, technology, two more turns. Ah, now the Americans, who were becoming a lot friendlier, have decided to do something. Everyone's coming up to bombard my little port. And that cut my money down to 637. And they've sent one of their courtesans, aka Geishas, after me. Did she distract him? Well, Chigo is under siege by two armies, with two more coming. Learners, okay. There's learners, of course. No, I'm gonna encourage them. War declared. Good. Bombardment. Uh, I can get that one fixed. That army looks very small. Now we're plunging a bit quicker now. Can we reach it? Yes, we can. All right. Look at that. What's that? Six, three, four, five, six, seven blasted bone units. Not so much of a threat. Continue. We've got that small force coming up. And I've got one assassin left. I have to start bringing him up. Ooh, don't have a thousand. Don't have fifteen hundred. Right, if we get hit by all of those armies, including artillery, we might lose a Chigo as well. That's tough. <coughs> Um, if you're going to play as a Prussian campaign, either be a lot better than me, or play differently. I, I started at Nagada. I think I captured Sado, and then Echigo, and then Echu. Just ignore those. Just go straight for the Northern Alliance, because I think they only have two or three regions. And I know you're going to be outnumbered two or three to one, as far as regions. But I would say... Gather everyone you can as quickly as possible, head straight for Fukushima, and then go after their other ones before they can expand. Ignore all the other ones, because that one would be the next nearest one, and that would still take a couple of turns to get an army up there. And you're unlikely to get invaded by the Sado. 
So just build your forces there. Go straight for Fukushima. That's my advice. That's the way I'll do it for the next one. Right. Well, as we're likely to have a battle there and a battle here, uh, we're going to end this one right now.